hello guys so today in this video I'm going to show you how you can add dynamic option to a specific uh, ACF field so what does it mean by dynamic options so first of all let's continue with our past field group ACF settings so let's say I want to display some uh, some books let's say books i want to display some favorite books and that favorite book should comes should come from uh, this book post type uh, we have an option to select post object but i want to set that as a checkbox and i want to display some number of books uh, here uh, dynamically and by checking those books I I will display the, those um, fav as a favorite books on front end but uh, to do for checkbox we we have to add this here in this format so uh, checking this ID ID and title would be time consuming and it is not dynamic in future you may be delete some of the books and you have to manually remove it from here so instead of doing that we can set this option dynamically by adding some lines of code so uh, so first of all let me save this field without adding any options and this field group is set to display on this ACF setting page which is added under here if you don't know how I added this page here then link is coming into the top right corner so let's go to this page and now see this favorite books there is no option displayed over here so uh, I have created this gist I will provide this link into the description section so I will use this um, uh, filter to add dynamic values so this uh, this I will come later from where I have added this and how you can use this differently so first I will copy this I will keep continue adding code in my custom plugin and if you don't know how to create custom plugin then again link is coming into the i button so as this belongs to admin section so i will open this admin.php file then i will add this section so this gist is gist or gist uh, whatever it is um, is for low, uh, display user roles in the choices but I want so first uh, let's see the action the filter the filter is called ACF load field and if you want to add uh, dynamic options for specific field then you can add name equal to whatever your field name so in our case our field name is favorite books so when you add this this uh, function is only this function will become responsible for only this field and now I will change the function name uh, favorite books options so as this is filter filter um, this parameter will be fields fields means uh, this values of 
values of I mean choices so now I will copy this function again then we will modify everything so let me remove everything So this is the format for this setting the dynamic values. So here label will go. So whatever label you want to display and here the value of the option will go. Uh, in our case, it will be a book ID. So first we will write uh, option. Uh, we will write <coughs> WP query for books so post type will be book This is extra bracket. So post type will be book. So as you can see in the bottom left corner, post type equal to book. Status publish post per page. Let's say I want only five post. And books will be posts let's say So let's check if book is empty don't do anything just return default so whenever you use filter don't return blank instead return whatever the variable here so that it keeps a default value now let's see what we get in books as of now i will comment this so i will print out this books and i will refresh this page so as you can see we are getting some results over here as an array so i will use this array again for each books as oops book then here in the choices here it goes a value uh, which you want to store in the database so yes we want to store id only so we will use dollar book id 
and here we want to display book title so this is the post title post title and now if we refresh this again this should uh, okay we are passing fields and here i have added field only let me refresh again and yes now you can see the options are coming dynamically over here and now if i put this into the trash and let's see if it it's going goes from here or not yes it goes from here as well so this is how you can add a dynamic uh, options for choices and this will work for um, this type of uh, choices type of field select checkbox and i think radio button as well let's see if this works for radio button refresh it and yes this works for radio button as well then yeah after it after that it will add values over here but it is all dynamic then let's try select So yeah, it works for select as well. So now um, here is the link official uh, document from the ACF and you can uh, use this filter differently. For example, here we used for this field only so that we use name equal to if we don't use anything it applies to all the field we add from here into this group but that is not the ideal way then you can apply for particular type for example if you want to set same values for select type then you can use type equal to whatever the type you want to uh, add dynamic options for then this we used for specific uh, field and this key means uh, applies to all field from the specific field group meaning let's go to custom fields and here you see the key over here so if you want to have this thing for particular field group then you can use key over here i will provide this link into the description section so yeah that's it for now this is how you can add dynamic options to acf field let me know if you have any doubt or question thank you